Guys, we're back next day, and I brought Emily this time. Hooray, part two. So she gets to spend some time here. Yes, today I'm going to feed all the snakes because they've been here for about a week now, so they're probably a bit hungry, so it's time to get them a meal. Yeah, you get a meal, and I get to continue cleaning. So in this video, we're gonna find a place for this work table. We have more of an actual workstation we're gonna be putting somewhere. I have stuff that's gonna be going on the walls to cut down on this really bad echo. Yes, some soundproofing. That's gonna be yep. really nice. Uh, we have to get a refrigerator and a freezer. Yes. And we have to set up some other stuff. But there's gonna be a whole lot to this video. Yeah, there's which, a lot we have to do. Yeah, but first feeding snakes and cleaning. And the new snake house except I wanted you to eat on this plant not underneath it dude come here come here we're gonna set it there so you don't drag it in all the bedding all right onwards all right what all did you get done I fed all the snakes and yep. changed all their waters and spot cleaned. So they're good for another week while we work on other things to finalize snake house. While we get stuff cleaned, like all that aspen down there. Yeah, today I learned Ed is doing a deep clean on every single rack, like pulling out the bins, disinfecting, yes. cleaning around the bins. In so yeah. When we pull these, they, they look like this. There's just a lot of stuff and dust and like this. I get done with them and they look like this. They look brand new They look again. beautiful. Yeah. And since we're moving to a whole new building, I figured we would double sanitize the bins. Yeah, so. doesn't hurt. Yep. It's a good time to do it. Exactly. Start clean. And I think we have 12 more racks getting delivered in a few days. Yeah, so we- Hopefully we're hiring somebody to put that together. Yes, so we have a lot more racks coming. We have more things to put together. We're done for tonight, so we're gonna come back later and keep going. Uh, you know how today was supposed to be a day off? Yes, and it's still going to be a day off. I don't know so much anymore. We got a yes. we got a call from the delivery company that the new snake racks are at the building and they're waiting for us to unload. They never called you to set up an appointment though. Nope, they didn't. They're just here. So now we have to go in and bring it's in. It's no longer here. This is a made bed. <sighs> I just made coffee. It just finished. Cheyenne, I just brought out. Hi! Yeah, it was supposed to be a day off, but not anymore. Step up. Come here. Come here, naked chicken. Yeah, you chewed off your old sweater. We have to put a new one on. Let's put you back. I'm sorry, Cheyenne. We actually have to work today. Here you go. You're a good girl. You can have a walnut sent by a fan. There you go. Wow, she yoinked it. Wish us luck, Cheyenne. We're gonna unload seven pallets of racks. All right, I have my coffee to go. Ed has his energy drink of choice. Snack energy. Yeah. You get it at the store or online while supplies last. That's right. We are crossing the bridge into Minnesota. So now we are officially, oh, now we're in Minnesota. Yep. Okay, and all we have to do is unload these racks from the truck and put them inside. That's all we have to do. We can do this. It's here! Yay! So the driver made it very apparent over the phone that she is deathly afraid of snakes. Oh, cool. Should we tell her that this is a room full of snakes? No. Yeah, look at that, we have three, and then five, and then eight, wait, no, that's only two, and then seven, and then nine, and then 11. We got 11 racks. Yes, ARS should really sponsor us at this point. Yeah, really, maybe we should just blur that. Maybe just blur the logo, <laughs> yeah. No, we just really like their racks. So yep. ARS, if you want to sponsor us at some point, we can do something yeah. together. But these are gonna be assembled in the future, not today, no. but we have them here for when our new curator starts, he can assemble them, and we'll actually start filling up this building with snake racks. It's gonna yes. look so cool. Then we have to go on a shopping spree. Oh, I have to buy 
buy so much stuff for the rack. Santa. Yeah. Okay, but for now, Ed and I are supposed to take the day off. So we're gonna go home and come back on the day we're supposed to be working to continue. Working? working. Having meetings? Yes. Yeah, hooray. All right. Well, I'm back out here. Emily is at the shop doing meet and greet again. And today, instead of focusing on cleaning the racks, I have a whole other task I need to do. You know how you hear this echo, which is probably really annoying to your guys' ears? Well, today I have acoustic panels to help stop that and some baffles to also help stop that because we want to film out here because our entire collection is going to be out here. So this is pretty important to have, be able to film in this building and hopefully this will help. So we're going to go do that. I'm going to be putting panels up on the walls, putting baffles on those in between each light and hopefully that will cut down on the echo. As you can see, we've still got a lot of echo, but we got all the panels up that I purchased for the baffles. So that should start helping, especially in this area where there's less room for everything to echo. But we still have to cover up these big walls that should also, that should cut it out almost completely. But yeah, now I get to move to putting these foam panels, these guys, up on the walls. Hooray, now Emily is here to help out Ed with setting up the snake house. And my job today doesn't revolve around snakes, it revolves around the bathroom, because this is a sad looking bathroom at the moment. So, I bought some stuff to make it look better. So I have to build a shelf, and then I went to Goodwill and got decor, and yeah, I'm just gonna set all that up. Alright, so I learned when they package these to ship, they shrink wrap them and then you start getting some weird angles on them where they pinch at the end instead of being completely flat like this. So what you have to do with that is soak them in water, squeeze all the air out, make it go to water, and then wring them out and dry them. Like all of those, all of those, all of those. All of those. And Emily's over here now. She's over there putting together a panel or a shelf that she hates. I hate Allen wrenches. They're the worst. <laughs> but I got all of these up. So you can kind of see the ones where they started to like mess up like that one right there. Ugh, it annoys me. But it's starting to sound better in here. I don't hear as much of an echo and it looks pretty cool. It's our colors. Now I just have to finish drying or finish rinsing all of those green ones and then I'm done for the day. back. I'm not going to be working on the soundproofing today. What are we doing today? Today we are moving this food prep table into place so it's not just in the middle of this room. But I like it in the middle of the room. This is very inconvenient long term. So I'm <laughs> thinking what if we put it in that corner? We could have like a whole meal prep area of the building. Are we doing it in that corner or are we doing it in that corner? Well, if we need a fridge and freezer anyway for rodent food, we have outlets right there. Yeah. So we may as well put fridge freezer here and table like right here. It might work that we can put this here and then a fridge and freezer. Whatever you want to do, I don't care. Yeah, there you go. You got it. Should I just full board send it right now? Yeah, just push it straight off the edge. Perfect. It'll make it in there. Yeah, it'll just fly into place. It doesn't need to be in one piece, right? No. I don't think they're both going to fit there, Ed. I don't know. I think I can squeeze it. It's like getting in a tight pair of jeans. You just push and push until it snaps, right? Uh, yeah, no. I don't think that's how that works. I'm pretty sure that's not gonna fit. So what's the uh, backup plan? I, I don't know. 
right, we decided on this. We're gonna put table here, leave a gap, cause then we can put a shelving unit for supplies like hemostats and stuff tucked in the corner. So then now that that's figured out, our next challenge is getting these- How do these things come off? I don't know, they're like skis to help it be transported, but they don't just pop off. There, I'll lean it, you figure out what it is. Okay. Oh, it's a bolt holding them in. Oh, really? How am I supposed to, how do you get that off? Well, you keep holding it like that. Why? Why would they have this? We're reptile people, not appliance experts. Well, I have this freezer side all done. Look, it's so beautiful. Everything's ready to go and be turned on. But I can't get to the fridge side because someone is taking too long. This thing is so stupid. Why would they put these stupid skis with two hex bolts that we don't have tools for to take off? I'm surprised it's not like this is a Phillips head screwdriver. Uh, that would be a lot smarter, wouldn't it? Yeah. yeah no, instead I'm stuck with this tiny little window of space Get this stupid bolt off. Uh, Emily's getting frustrated. Oh my God. All right, everyone. I didn't really record today because I figured I'm cleaning and you guys have probably seen enough of me cleaning, but I sterilized all six of those, eight of those, eight. Eight of those, the other ones are up there. This rack is now clean, it's just kind of drying. I moved all the snakes that were in it into these tubs. You can ignore Mount Trashmore over there. We don't have garbage yet, so it's just going in a pile. I put all the snakes over here. They're gonna spend the night in these tubs, which, thinking about it, if you get these tubs, you should probably put weight on top. Uh oh, I should probably make sure he's still in here. Are you still in here, yellow? Oh no. All right, well, learn from my mistakes, kids. Put stuff heavy if you don't have, if you have lids that can come off. I was here, so I figured I would watch him escape if he was going to escape, but not a whole lot of force needs to push that up. But again, I thought I was gonna be here and I would notice him escape. I guess I didn't, he was a little sneaky snake. So now I get to apparently rip through Mount Trashmore and go under bins and search everywhere. And hopefully there's no hole in a wall or something like that. All right, so I've been searching for the last 45 minutes or so. I've looked through everything. I've torn apart Mount Trashmore. I've torn apart those boxes. I've looked through everything and I finally found him. Where do you think he was? He was up there. I don't know how he made it up there, but he made it up there. I, he must have just climbed? I don't know, I am speechless. Like, he had to have gone up every peg or something. I don't know how you did that. That's impressive, dude. Good for you. I'd almost be willing to keep you out, but you need to go back so I know where you are tomorrow. Um, I'm glad I bought that ladder the other day, because otherwise I just have to sit here and watch him and wait for him to come down, which he does not seem like he's gonna do. I will set the ladder up and we'll see if I can get him down. All right, got the ladder set up here, climbing to the top. You proud of yourself? I'd be proud of myself. It's a long way. You gonna be, f oh, that doesn't look friendly and you're way a tail wagging at me. Hey bud, um, I need to grab you somehow. Don't bite me. Hey. Yeah, I knew you were gonna do that. All right, come here. Nope. You only bit me once, don't fall off, dude. We got him. Oh, that was way too time consuming, dude. Like, I was supposed to leave almost an hour ago. So, let's put you back. Let's change this up so you're at the bottom. And then I'll put somebody who I don't think's gonna escape on the top, and I'll tape this down so it doesn't let you out automatically. <sighs> Snakes. You are cute though. All right, I put the Chinese rat snake at the bottom, at the very bottom so he can't get out. I put our little corn snake that's really screwed up on the top. I don't know if you guys have met Argus or not, but Argus was a very old snake who had a really bad rat bite at one time, or mouse bite, and has a really messed up spine from it. But he's still rocking and rolling. He's in shed right now, but I don't think this old man is gonna have the capability of pushing out, but I also, Got tape in case. So I'm gonna tape this down so I can go home for the night and come back tomorrow and make sure that everybody is still in their cages. We're back for the next day. See if all those snakes stayed in their enclosures. First I have to shut the alarm off. The stack didn't fall over, that's good. We still have the bull snake down there. As long as Argus is still in here, Argus is still in there, hooray! All right, now I can breathe easy and continue setting that up. All right, we are back again for another day at the new snake house. And today I am doing another round of feeding our 
snakes um, because our new curator doesn't start for another three weeks, two weeks. So we're just kind of taking care of them in the meantime. Uh, and then Ed today is gonna be working on the food prep station. We have a big whiteboard so that we can like write down notes and whatever on that. And then we're gonna finish up stuff in the bathroom. And I think Ed's gonna continue on the disinfectant project that we have going, which basically we wanna start everything fresh here. So we're gonna take all of the bins, deep clean them completely. Like we're gonna use uh, Chlorohex uh, and steam primarily just to make sure they're deep cleaned. So we start everything nice and clean in the new building. So yeah, that's what we're we're working on today and now I've got to feed some hungry snakes. Okay, I'm going to interrupt that hyperlapse for a second to introduce you guys to Argus the corn snake who some of you have seen because we posted about him on Instagram not too long ago but this poor dude is very old he's got cataracts in both eyes he's not just about to shed there he's the, the cloudiness is from his cataracts and you're probably wondering what that is in his previous home he was fed live rodents and there was an accident one day where he decided not to eat the mouse and instead the mouse decided to start eating him alive his radiograph is bonkers and uh we've had him for quite a while now we just haven't really showed him on the channel because i guess i haven't found a reason to do it but since he's getting very old i wanted to at least introduce him to you guys before he passes away but he's very alert so i think we'll still have him for a bit yet but yeah this is a kind of a crazy scar that he has even though it's all healed up now so maybe we'll do a video that features him but in case his time comes before we end up doing that video I wanted to at least introduce you guys to Argus the corn snake. Yes, you're a very pretty boy and I will feed you in a second. I just have to clean you first. Also, we have him in a smaller than we would normally use bin because his back half, like everything after the scar, isn't very movable for him. So we're keeping him in a smaller bin so that he's closer to his water, can easy, more easily navigate to all the places he wants to. In his old age, yes, you're quite the old man now, uh-huh. So this is your senior living home. All right, and there we go. Just like that, this rack is now sanitized. These bins are all deep cleaned and sanitized. I still have to do those six. Here, they're still over there just drying. But I still have to do the sanitization process with them, but all the animals are back in. Now I just have to do it with that rack, and the rack back there, and the rack back there, and that rack. Thankfully, those three are already done. So that's basically more cleaning and more cleaning and more cleaning. So I'm not gonna film any of that because that's just gonna bore you guys. But yeah, that's basically what we're doing in the transfer. All right, well, you guys get the idea. We're gonna be feeding and cleaning for a little while now until our new curator starts, since we are in between curators at the moment. But let's see, what did we do in today's update? You should go look at that freezer. That Ooh, freezer. is it full of frozen rodents? Yeah, I'd ignore all the boxes. Yeah, that's totally. Right this one? That one's empty. Yeah, there's nothing in that one. But wait till you open that one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that's a lot of frozen rodents. That's a lot of frozen rodents. Yeah. Wow. Well, hopefully we get to the point where that is considered a week's worth for hopefully us. Hopefully we don't get to that point. Wouldn't that be cool? That that's the be, point of this. That would be really cool. Yeah. But that's a lot of mouths. That's a lot of mouths. That is true. So up next, I guess, since we kind of got this ready in this yep. video. This already. Um, just a little this, little of that. But we have enough, I think, to end the video uh, here. Because, I don't know, you're probably getting bored watching us just build. Mm -hmm. random yeah feed and clean <laughs> i mean i told them in another update that i just have, I have four more racks to do over there and oh, then i'm pretty much done but nice so everything's going to be fresh and new yep. here it's going to be great you have to throw a bunch of garbage away ah uh, mount trash more yep it's beautiful. It is. <laughs> uh, and we have to add some enclosures in our entryway area yes. to make a nice like first impression when we have friends over or guests over. So we have a plan for that already. That'll we have to, be a separate video. Separate video. We have to put together the office and the yep. filming area. Yep. Uh, yeah, so we have some stuff to do still, but we're going to end it here. <laughs> yes. So thank you guys for watching. I... If you have any ideas, oh, we're gonna do like a shipping station over there. Oh yeah, that's gonna be our shipping station. Yeah, so yeah, there's a lot still to do, but that's for the future. Yeah. <laughs> thank you for watching and thank you Patreon backers for your amazing support. If you have recommendations on how we could best utilize this space, let us know in the comments below. And honestly, what surprised me most so far is we've moved around so many snakes so far and we haven't let out a single one. So I'm really proud of us. Um, 
Yes, we have not let out a snake yet. No. I mean, goodbye everyone. All right, one last check to make sure everything is out. That broken glass isn't ours, is it? Broken glass? Oh, yeah. this? Yeah. Um, I hope not. Okay. I, I think we would have noticed yeah, if we I think had we would have that too. broken glass. Yeah, so I think we're okay. No snakes. Ugh. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's a creepy little doll. It's stuck in the... You know what? I'm going to leave it there because I feel like if I remove that doll, I'm going to be cursed for life. Yeah, we already might have ghosts at home. We don't need a poltergeist as well. No, we do not.